Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today to watch season 1 episode 9 of Scam. We are quickly getting to the end of the season, which has me so intrigued to see how the season is going to end, but also how like the next season is going to begin. I don't know if it's going to be like a seamless transition or uh, what, and I feel like I know that each season kind of follows or like is more closely looking at a different character so I am so curious to see what that's gonna feel like because we started off obviously really following Ava and I don't know dealing with her life more closely than some of the other girls and so I just feel like it might feel weird to like stop seeing Ava so much and then like going to somebody else I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm worried. Anyway, we have three episodes left though, so we're not quite there yet. Just getting closer. Uh, a quick recap of the last episode. We had some tea in the last episode. Tea was spilled. We got to see Ava going through it. Her and Jonas are... I... Not doing good. Not doing good. Okay? Not doing good. And I feel like the main thing... Right, because obviously Ava's not having a great time with life right now. And I feel like some of the main things that happened were Nora was trying to cheer up. William came over and was like trying to get Nora to hang out with him. And she was like, no. And he was like, maybe. And she was like, no. So we loved that. Um, I feel like the other main thing, what even happened in the last episode other than like, I guess Vilda finding out that and telling us and telling the whole girl group that Jonas used to be with Ingrid and Ingrid and Ava were besties and then somehow Ava and Jonas have become a thing but I do feel like that there is potentially more to the story than that? I don't really know. I'm very curious to see what more we're going to learn in this episode. But like, Vilda was like calling Ava really slutty and like just being really rude. And it seemed like the vibes were that she was trying to get the other girls to be like, oh yeah, let's drop Ava. She can't be trusted and continue on how we're going because they were worried I guess like with the other group threatening them the other girl group threatening them and uh because of the whole Chris penetrator Chris kissing Ava and you know the girlfriend finding out so like apparently their group is blacklisted and not being invited to parties and stuff so then Vilda found out about the whole Ava Jonas Ingrid thing and luckily you know, we had Nora and Sana specifically were really riding for Ava in the sense of, like, we stick up for our friends. And we also found out that the reason Sana got into a little bit of a spat and stormed out at that one party with Ingrid and stuff was because they were calling Vilda a slut for hooking up with William. So she dropped that bomb, which was interesting because... We have seen from the very beginning Sana and Vilda kind of like butting heads always because Sana speaks her mind and Vilda thinks that's rude and they just have not seen eye to eye. So it was interesting that that early on Sana was still sticking up for her even though they weren't necessarily like getting along really. But as they said, her and Nora were talking about like how you stick up for your friends and you don't just go after them when you hear something potentially like somebody was doing so yes i am curious to see what the status and the state of our group is because obviously i don't know if they're all going to be mad at vilda i don't know i don't know i don't know the vibes i don't know if we're going to move on and pretend it didn't happen i don't know if we're going to talk into deeper discussions about it we just, we honestly, we have to see where we're going and what, how we're going to end up. And I don't really know. 
as always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link for that's down below, as well as links to Discord, Instagram, anything else you might need. You should totally join the Discord and check it out. It's super fun. But without any further ado, let's just jump right in to Season 1, Episode 9 of Scam. Let's go. Uh-oh. What is that? Ew! Are you say psych right now? That's absolutely disgusting. I'm horrified by that, actually. Is, is she pregnant right now? Are you, like, say psych right now. She better not be, I swear to God. Du hadde rett. Hva er de jentene jeg er ute etter hele bussen? Jeg er ikke på bussen lenger. Hvorfor ikke? Hvorfor skal jeg gidde å være på en buss som er svartlistet hvor alle hater meg? Det er ingen som hater deg, Villa. Sånn har gjort det ganske klart. No, I think you're taking that wrong. Uansett så er jeg tilbake med Pipsi Max-sengen. Ok, Vilda. Fuck off. Jeg er ikke en sånn type person som går og stjeler andre sine kjærester. Come on, girl. Hvordan person er du da? Ok, well... That wasn't great. God! Is she looking at other schools to go to? Mm. Isaac. Hi. Do you go to school today? No. I am the unfortunate that you are so much hate us. What a sweetie pie. Er det samme for å bytte skole? Og derfor bytte skole? Ja. Hm? Ok, hva da? He's like, that's a bad idea. Hva skal det bety? Jeg vet ikke at du er en sånn type person som bare gir opp. <laughs> yeah, get her. I mean, get her. Hvordan person jeg er. Kanskje jeg er en person som gir opp, da? Vet du hvem du er? Du er så jævla klisjé. Okay. Man er jo bare det man gjør. Hvis du bytter skole fordi ting er litt fukt, så... I mean, he's speaking facts. Omvendt psykologipisse funker på meg. Jeg vet ikke, jeg gjør det. You got to fight back, girl. Burn, motherfucker. <laughs> Come on! That was epic. Yo. Oh, she's fighting back. Homegirl's gonna fight back. I'm scared about this, actually. Hey, Smith, Eva. Okay. So, I think it's got to be them, for the least. We have a little bit of a thing to do when we're going to start the list of Yeah, somebody else did it. We have Kita no brev. There's no fucking money. Vi driter i hvem du har hukket opp med. Ikke sant? Du skal dritte deg ut. Du går i første klasse. Du skal hukke rundt. Åh, we needed this. For det er forskjellen, ikke sant? Når vi gikk i første klasse, så hadde vi en klamydiepidemi. Som spredde seg fort til å svarte deg rundt. Har vi noen funnet den som startet den? Det var William. Haha, det er så fornøyelig, William. De er skjuta til oss. Åh, nå kan jeg endelig begynne å puste ut igjen. Hilda, hun er ikke med på bussen lenger. Hæ? Det er noe galt. Sånn som på det bussmøtet. Hun var slem, og Hilda er ikke en slem. Er hun pregnet? Jeg tror jeg blir ikke så virkelig som om du forsvarte Hilda. Jeg sier bare at noe er galt. Vi er venninne. Ja, Sisana kjærer. Hun bare 
like brutally honest. It's not that she didn't like her. They just clash because Sana spoke. I feel like the facts. Should have got a clarifying for the um, bilder som Meg och Ingrid. Mm. Men jag har ingen. Och jag vet att det borde gjort ting annorlunda. Ja. Spar den talen här till Ingrid. Driver och rotter sig samman med Iben när den huckar med Kristel. Säker på att det är hon som sände det mensen brevet. Jag skulle säga, cuz Sana said she saw somebody on the stairs. Har Ingrid huckit med Chris? Ja, jag sa ju det. På Halloweenfesten så stod hon och Chris och huckat på trappan. Kuddar du med mig? Nej, jag såg det ju. Vad då? Jag har ju förlåt för. She did. She said the stairs just didn't say it was Ingrid. Jag trodde jag hade förlåt för. Wow. The plot is thickening. <laughs> the plot is thickening. End her, Eva. Du har lust att jag ska se till Iben att du har huckit med Chris. Så får jag så du andra håll nu. Come on, girl. Du är bara nöjd till att finna en måte för det att fungera. För det... Du kan inte fortsätta och... Oh my god. I can't believe this is happening. Hur ska ko stolt och heldig... Jag kunde bara inte känna hur han... Den mest populära jenten i klassen hade lust att vara vann med mig. Och att det är klart att ödelägga det. Gör mig helt kvalm. Mm. Det har gjort att jag har suttit och liker mig själv som person. Men det kan inte fortsätta. Och gå runt och ångra resten av livet. Kom igen, Eva. Du, du snackar inte om att slå upp mig varje dag. Jag vet att det är en unnskyldning, men jag älskar inte han. I'm curious to see how she's gonna take this. <laughs> How it's gonna end. Unskyld. For at jeg løy til deg og gikk bak ryggen din. Ikke noe med dritt. Men jeg har ikke sendt noe trusselbrev. Oh my god. Oh my god. Da jeg hukket med Chris på Halloweenfesten. Alla och din måte att tackla det på jag flyr på folk och banker dig upp sen ett trusselbrev. Jag har ett bättre förslag till dig. Och det är att du slår på mina fucking kärs när en jävla dritt wild. Jag vet inte alltså så I get she's still with him. That's crazy. Det var fall barn för talte det till det då. I don't think he did. Hur då? Mm. Oh no. Han sa ikke det til meg. Who did? Oh my god. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. What is this? Det var jo kjæresten din som tipset om det. Hæ? Kjæresten min? Ja. Kjæresten min visste jo det ikke engang. Det må han ha gjort. Det var jo han som sendte det som tips på direct til Nissenhoek. What the fuck is going on? Did Isaac tell Jonas? Er det du alltid er med? Oh. Er ikke det kjæresten din? Isak Jaki? Isak? Er ikke det han heter? Isaac told her? Har Isak tipset om det? Get the fuck out of here. I'm so sorry. Guys, I am fucking gob smacked. My god has been smacked. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh my god, what is going on? What is happening right now? What? What? There was so much that happened. So, so there wasn't really more to the story with the whole Ava, Jonas, Ingrid thing. It was just that Ingrid wanted to break up with him and Ava loved him, so she did it. But like, I'm happy she's taking accountability for that. I'm happy her and Ingrid had that conversation. I find it so interesting. I mean, obviously, right, we had her talk with Sana and Nora and Sana being like, yeah, I 
told you he was hooking up with somebody on the stairs and I saw him. I, I saw them. And I was stuck on that in the episode she said that in because I was like, well, it, that wasn't Ava. So, make it make sense. It's making sense now. So it was Ingrid. Even is the one who is sending the threat letters and stuff like that, even though she's got a shitty ass boyfriend. So happy that Ava was like, yo, dump him. And then is Vilda pregnant? Because she's throwing up. She's acting like, I don't know, moody and stuff like that. As Sana said. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what's gonna go on there. I don't really know. But Isaac is the one who sent in the thing to like let her know that her boy, that Chris hooked up with Ava. That's so interesting. Wait. Wait. There's no way my little Isaac, my little sweet Isaac is a snake. There is no way. What the fuck is that? I feel like there has to be some kind of misunderstanding for me to believe that. I don't know what is happening. But I feel like the fact that Jonas has turned it around and now Isaac may be disappointing me has me shaking. I don't know what's going on. I'm stressed out. I just need to get into the next episode because what is happening right now? I'm so shook. Holy shizzle. Thank you so much for watching this episode with me. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link for that is down below. And I will see you guys back here with me for the next episode. Bye, guys.